Hello everybody, Marlene aka Snowgardener307. We are here for two things today. We're going to talk about what we spent in the first two weeks and a couple days in September and I was a little bit out of control. You guys are going to see that and we're also going to do some savings challenges Um, because duh, savings challenges. We are going to keep the savings challenges minimal just to keep this video a little bit shorter. So we're going to do $100. That's what we're going to do. So let's go ahead and get into the check-in. All right, everybody, here we are with our savings challenge money. So let's get this out of the way. We do have an A buck that came out of my husband's um, budget. Um, so we're going to do $101 today. So let's make sure we've got 101, 20, 40, 50, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 101 dollars. So uh, that's what we're going to be putting into our savings challenges. You don't need to have a lot of money to have savings challenges and it always blows my mind how much a little bit of money really adds up. And then the other thing you guys will notice is we've got a ton of change here. Miss Georgette has not been getting fed very much and Miss Georgette is saving money for Australia. And so we're gonna go ahead and stuff this money really quick and add this to our Australia goals because on this channel, we believe not only does every dollar add up, but every single penny adds up. So let me get this added into Georgette. And just in case you're new to my channel, Georgette has been a character on my channel for a long time. And my sister-in-law, Shannon, over at 307 Design Studio, which I'll put up here on the screen, has created so many versions of Georgette for me. We are so excited to work together and have one-of-a-kind artwork, all original artwork as far as Georgette. We've got Fred Jr. Fred Jr. exists because I killed the original Fred. That was a real succulent. And then over here, I have got um, our newest channel member and our newest mascot. And this is what? His name is what? And he is what the duck. So he is our newest friend on the channel here. Just a lot of fun. I've always been that type of person that loves to make up storylines and stuff. And luckily I have an amazing artist for her sister-in-law. So let's get this added in. What we do with Georgette is once she re reaches $100, we go ahead and cash her in and put that $100 to Australia. And of course we have got a big savings goal for Australia. We are looking at at least $20,000, if not $25,000. So let's see what Miss Georgette's gonna be at now. And now my fingers are gonna be all gross. That's the worst thing about coins, right? So Miss Georgette is at almost $60, $59.97. So we're gonna go ahead and put her off to the side with Fred Jr. And just so you know, Miss Georgette is still sporting the same dollar store eyelashes as I originally bought her. So, okay, so we're gonna do the check-in really quick. Let's go ahead and scooch these guys on over and get into our September. We are checking in, I believe it's the 1st through the 17th. And let me make sure you guys can see this. Yeah, you guys can see it. And I just realized something. I added some of the days up and some of the weeks, but I don't think I did all of them. So we're going to do it here. We're going to do it fairly quickly. So let's go ahead and talk about this. This is the first through the third. If you guys are interested in any of these budget printables, these are all mine. They're on Snow Gardener 307 on Etsy. So let's go ahead and zoom on in. So our first day was the first and I went ahead and <laughs> did some shopping because that's what I do. So on Google, I spent some money on some items that I wanted and stuff like that. So I spent $66.17. I ordered from Golden Girl Budgets and Cindy Cat Budgets. So I spent $115.15, $111.15, sorry you guys, on Friday. We have a no spend on Saturday and on Sunday, um, I did some more spending. <laughs> So Happy Planner had an amazing sale and I am proud to say you guys, I have not bought anything from Happy Planner since July of 2022. So I went ahead and let myself splurge on my stuff a little bit. I spent $139.19 at Happy Planner. And then you guys, I have two expenditures for eBay. Both of these are for my Snow Gardener 307 business. These are both printers. My printer died 
and um, I found a used one at first and I spent $145.60 on it. It has received, or I have received it, um, and it prints fine, except for they didn't take the ink cartridges out before they mailed it. So now it has black ink inside of it. So I've got to get it all cleaned out. Then I found a brand new one. And the brand new one originally was $599 plus $60 in shipping because this printer that I have um, is no longer made by Canon. And so I um, I had just marked it like as, you know, like on my watch list, right? Well, I got an offer from that seller um, for $350 plus shipping and tax. So I went ahead and ordered that. This printer right here has been stuck in a town 100 miles from me um, for 13 days now, and I still don't have it. So obviously I'm not happy about that. Any of you guys that have ordered anything from my shop, if stuff is out of stock, this is the reason why. All right, sorry, I just digress, right? Let's go ahead and zoom back out. So you can see right here, $820.84 is what we spent for the first three days of September. Can you say, Holy cow, that was three days worth of spending, but we did have one no spend in there. <laughs> and then we're going to go ahead and roll on over to the next full week. And so Monday, we had a no spend. Wednesday, we had a no spend. And Sunday, we had a no spend. So when's there? Let's go ahead and zoom on in on Tuesday. On Tuesday, um, I had a large grocery haul. And so I went to my local store and I spent a lot of money. Now, let me explain to you guys. I am a prepper. Um, I have a prepper pantry and I purchase things when they go on sale. So these expenditures right here include 80 pounds of chicken and I think it was 25 pounds of jalapenos. We also had peaches for peach salsa. So we had a a lot of stu stuff. So all of this was cash flowed right here through our food and prepper pantry. And then I also hit up the liquor store um, to restock my wine for the holiday season. So 113.18. Obviously, I did not add those up. So let's go ahead and add this day up. And boy, I'm telling you what, when I spend, it seems like I spend. I go a long time without spending anything. And then I just go crazy. So I spent almost $500 at our local grocery store on Tuesday. All right, let's go ahead and go to Thursday. And actually, we've got Thursday and Friday there. So I did some more spending. Um, we have redid my son's room since he's at college. We live in a small home, so we're making it, making it into a guest bedroom. And I spent $32.90 on some pillowcases. They're really super nice. And I also ordered some stuff from my friend, Ira, with Budget with Ira, um, for my 3K giveaway. We're eking up there closer and closer. So $47.50 for that. I had a YouTube subscription that I'm paying for for $4.99. So I spent $85.39 this day. And then this day right here, we went out of town um, and I've got my hair done. We obviously did some shopping and we spent more money. Now, the way that this worked right here is this is one week's groceries. This is the next week. So that's how I ended up doing that. And so I did 35 for a haircut, 167.75. Ooh, I don't know what I did there, but it wasn't good. 167.75 um, was to take my kids out to lunch for sushi. And yes, that was a lot of money. It was my husband, my son, my daughter, and I. It's been a long time since we've all went. So we did splurge. At Walmart, we spent $195.18. We got curtains for the spare bedroom. We got a garbage can. You know, we got a lot of different things. And $33.93 for Dollar Tree. We spent $45 at Come and Go for gas and $49.02 on groceries. So that equaled $525.88. For anybody that's new to my channel, I live in a small town in Wyoming and there is one grocery store. There is no Walmart. There's no Target. There's nothing like that. So when we go out of town, we tend to spend a little bit more. Now let's go ahead and roll on over to our last day with expenditures. This one's not too bad. Um, I got my eyelashes done and then I needed to get a college book. So that's easy. I spent $100. So let's go ahead and see what we spent for the week. Another expensive week. Holy cow. And five twenty five eighty eight, and another hundred. We spent twelve oh four eighty six. I don't think you guys could see that. There we go. Twelve oh four eighty six. All right, let's zoom on out.
All right, you guys, here is the last week that we're going to check in for on this video. So we're checking in through the 17th just because it's all on one page. It makes things easier. So I didn't add this page up either. I'm not going to zoom you in on that one. I um, bought some show tickets to take my niece to a show when I was in Reno, Nevada. So that was $72.40. And then I also had ordered something from Scentsy. So that was $11.08. So that was $83.48. We had a no spend on Tuesday. On Wednesday, I had um, a YouTube subscription come out for $9.99. Down at the bottom, I took the pets to get groomed for $165. Um, I also ordered a three-month supply of collagen for $91.96. So the total there is $256.96. And then I did some expenditures on Vistaprint. Now, you guys, I have a large expenditure um, that I'm not including in this. It was 100% my business. Um, but I actually want to keep that large purchase um, to myself. You know what I mean? And I guess it's my business so I can choose what I want to do. Um, but I don't want people, I don't know. I don't know what I don't want, but I'm leaving that one to myself. I do have a smaller purchase here for $116.47. And of course that's not a small purchase, right you guys? But that gives you an idea of how big the other purchase was. I also bought myself a book on Audible, one that I wanted that was on sale. So that day I spent $121.66 and we've got to zoom in over here. So here, this weekend was the weekend that the Etsy, the Etsy, <laughs> that Etsy did a sell. If you spent $25, Etsy would pay five bucks. The creator got to keep the $5 for their products. Etsy did that. So your girl went crazy. I, I shopped at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight different shops. And all of them were over $25 before the coupons. So let's all add all of this up. Now these are going to be utilized for my 3K giveaway. So I have so many prizes that I might actually have some that will go towards the next milestone, whatever giveaway I decide to do. I am super excited about this upcoming giveaway. And I'm trying not to pay attention because when I pay attention, then it seems like my numbers stop. So... <laughs> Um, I know that I'm less than 100. That's all I know. Okay, so we spent 233.37 on Etsy. Um, the Snow Gardener 307 business is going to pick that up because that is going to be prizes and stuff. Let me go ahead and add up what we've done uh, this week right here. And holy cow, I tell you what, when it rains, it pours. And when Marlene wants to spend, boy, does she spend. So let's see what this week right here was. And so that is $705.46. So $705.46. We had two no spins this week. Then we need to add $1204.86. And we have three, so that's five no spins. And our first week, we have $820.84 and one no spin there. So six no spins. Now, I want to let you guys know, a lot of this expenditure's is for my business. It takes money to make money, right? But take a look at that right there, $2,731.16. And I'm sorry, I didn't realize you guys were still zoomed in. I tend to do that. That's why I try not to zoom in too often because I forget to unzoom. So let's unzoom you guys. There we go. Good enough. All right, so that's what we spent for the first 17 days in September. Can you say, ouch? <laughs> ouch, ouch. Okay, so we've got our money here. Let's go ahead and get into some savings challenges. We only have $100 to spend, so it's not gonna take us a long time. We are still gonna focus on debt because that is what I am working towards the most as far as saving challenges. Let me go ahead and grab my crayons. I keep calling them my crayons, but they are not crayons. They are Mr. Pin and they are gel highlighters and they work very well. So we're gonna do green and pink. We are only gonna play shut the box once um, just because we don't have a lot of money and we have other challenges we wanna do. So we're gonna pick out two dice. We're gonna do shut the box. We're gonna color in green for the items that we don't have to pay for. So we got a five. And we got a seven. We got a three. We got another three. Oh my goodness. No more threes. No more threes. We got an eight. Whew. 
Okay, this is going to debt, so it wouldn't be the worst if we owed a lot. And a five. Okay, so we owe $19 for the shut the box. <coughs> Sorry about that cough. We're going to go ahead and pull out $1. We're going to take one of our 20s, throw it in to shut the box. And if I shut the box, I actually charge myself uh, four. I charge myself 20 bucks when I shut the box. So not a bad thing. Let's color these in. So shut the box, just in case you guys did not know, is from Reinventing Renee. She is Budget Nerd Co. on Etsy. All right, let's keep rolling on through this page here. And we have got the Succulent Mystery Scratch Off. This is from my friend Janelle from Janelle Ray Budgets. So let's go ahead and we're going to scratch one is all we're going to scratch. And do, do, do. so let's see how many things we can get through. All right, so we're going to scratch one. Let's see how nice Janelle is to us. So five bucks, awesome. Five dollars more towards my debt. And a lot of times I'll say our debt. It's just a slip of the tongue because all of this stuff is going towards my debt, which is my car. All right, let's keep on rolling on by. We're going to do rolling with my nomies. And this is rolling with my nomies too. This is something that Wendy made especially for me. She does have it on her shop. We're going to go ahead and roll two dice and let's see how far we go. Hopefully we have enough money. Five. Okay. I just never know when I do that. One, two, three, four, five. Let's see what we've got here. Ooh, we got 10 bucks there. All right. And then also you guys, each one of these dots in the road is $3. So that's $22. That is our last 20, 21, 22 going into rolling with my nomies. I have no idea how much this is going towards our debt, but I'm super excited to put it towards our debt. And then we have got 654. This is another reinventing Renee um, or budget nerd co. <laughs> um, and six, five, four, we need five dice for this. So the premise is that we need to roll a six, a five and a four. And then the two dice that are left over is what we pay. If we don't roll a six, a five and a four, then we pay 10 bucks. Oh, well we did six, five and a four. And we're actually going to leave those just like that. You guys, you get three rolls and I try to get as much as I can, right? I want larger numbers because this is going towards my debt. My goal is to, you know, use these games to have fun and pay as much to my debt as I possibly can. Now we're going to finish this column up before we send the money to the bank and are able to make a debt payment for that. All right, six, five, four. And let's see what else do we have. We're going to go ahead and roll on over to our red binder, which I just realized I don't have. So let me go grab it. All right, here's our red binder. This is my, what I call my adulting savings challenges. So this is where our debt payments are going to be at. And I just added these stickers on here for my friend, Liz. I love this sticker right here. It says mistakes are proof that you are trying. I love that. All right, so pop it, you guys. We have got my pop it book. For everybody that has purchased a pop it book, thank you so much. I am loving mine and I'm only on my first challenge. And it's not just because it's mine. <laughs> We're just gonna scratch one of these right here. This is a mystery challenge, um, four to $9. I have no idea how much this adds up to, you guys. I never added it up. We're gonna go ahead and do this one right here. Ooh. $9. I was mean to myself on that one. I can't even blame anybody else. So $9. We're going to grab a 10 and we're going to pull a one out of there. And we've still got that a buck there too, that we need to take care of. All right. So that is it for the pop it book. I am doing one challenge at a time. There are multiple challenges in here that you could work on all of them at once if you wanted to, but I am slow rolling that one at a time. All right, then we have um, Wendy from the Thrifty Sos. We've got Stack It Up. We need one dice and we're gonna scratch one. So let's roll a dice, two, all right? And then we're gonna scratch one. Oh, well, that was easy. <laughs> Didn't that seem too low? So we multiply the two amounts. So $2 is what's going into debt for that one. And we're gonna take it. We're gonna take that $2 amount and that one seems to have gotten close, so I'll deal with that later. Then, you guys, I forgot. Eek! We have an IOU. We have an IOU for $8, 5, 6, 
seven and eight. This is from my friend Rin over at Mischief Manage Budgets on YouTube and Mischief Budgets on Etsy. <laughs> this one right here is I got a rock. And so I don't know if there's only one rock on there, um, but I scratched the rock for $10. That's what gave us an IOU. Um, we're just going to scratch one to see what we get. Okay, so a candy corn for $5. And my husband bought me this challenge from Ren, and I just absolutely love it. I just think it's funny. <laughs> oh, you know, I just, I get amused by simple things. All right, and then we have got Alicia's scratch off. I don't think we got enough money for that. You're ahead. All right, we're gonna play one more round to shut the box, you guys. We're gonna see um, if we can get this money used up without having an IOU. What do you guys think? You think we can do it? I don't know if we can or not, but shut the box is one of my favorite games if you guys haven't noticed. And so uh, let's go ahead and get rolling. And I put my green one away. There's my green one. And let's go ahead and get started. 11. Uh-oh, that was dumb. Nine and two. Oh, nine. Okay. Eight and one. Let's see what we've got. That's why that was dumb. <laughs> two snake eyes, I shouldn't have done that. All right, so I should have done eight and three, which is what I normally do. Holy cow, I'm pretty sure we're going to have an IOU. So we've got 7 plus 11 plus 7. So $25, you guys. I don't have $25. 5, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. We had more left than I thought we did. Um, and so we've got our IOU right here that Cindy Cat Budgets just gave me and I had just written on it for the $8. So let me grab a marker. And so what did I say we owe? Do we owe six, is that right? So 10, 25, 5, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Yep, so an IOU for six. I can't believe I did that. So yes, the premise behind this game, you guys, is you want to try to get as many um, you know, numbers scratched off as you can or colored in. And of course, if you roll snake eyes, there's only one thing that you can color and that's the two. So normally I try not to color in the two. You guys saw me, I did it this time, but hey, $25 towards debt. Um, you know, that's a okay. And we get to color a whole bunch of pink. <laughs> All right, you guys. That's it for me today. Thank you for joining me for this uh, budget check-in um, to see what we spent so far and also to do a little bit of savings challenges. And yes, you guys, I didn't forget about the A, but I'm going to go ahead and say goodbye while I get that A buck stuffed in to the A buck envelope. All right, you guys, till I see you next time, remember to keep on smiling. Step one, wake up, brother, gonna rise with the sun. Step two, get some good, some food in you. Step three, think real hard about what you wanna be. Step four, fuck everybody, just do your thing. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. 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 Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Yo, set your affirmations, aspirations. I got shit to do. The aftermath of preparation. Good food, good mood.